this top elite at the one percent is really getting very uh, uh, even though during the pandemic their wealth is still increasing where middle class you know for the last 30 years is is, is stagnated and and, and 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 zero increase so so do you think that uh, uh, with all those uh, dissatisfied uh, uh, middle class dissatisfied uh, blue collars and uh, they're constantly continuously voting anti-globalization anti-china politician to the congress and then they actually form the bipartisan and china would be the easiest uh, scapegoat for 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 the domestic policy of us the, the logic goes something like this uh the american middle class has been damaged because of a large and growing trade deficit and the biggest piece of that deficit is with china you know, I've analyzed this story for a number of years, and uh, most of it is, is, is false. There are some elements of, um, of, of truth to some of the allegations, but let's just look at the trade piece, for example. Um, the U.S. does have a large uh, trade deficit uh, with China, although it has gotten a good deal smaller since the tariffs were imposed in 2018. But the plain fact of the matter is that the data from our own U.S. Department of Commerce uh, indicates that we have trade deficits um, in any given year with roughly 100 different countries. We have a multilateral problem, not a bilateral problem with China. Uh, and the multilateral problem reflects the fact that as a nation, we do not save. And the economics are very clear. It, when you don't save and you want to grow, you import surplus saving from abroad and you run a big deficit on your balance of payments or your current account to attract the foreign capital. And that's what gives rise to a multilateral trade deficit. You can't address the multilateral trade deficit by making a, uh, you know, a, or starting a trade war on a bilateral basis. If you do that, but you don't raise your level of national savings, then the, um, the deficit that you, um, uh, that you attack through tariffs just gets diverted somewhere else. And that's exactly what's happened. We've lowered our trade deficit with China because of Trump's tariffs, but the overall trade deficit has gotten considerably bigger because it's been offset by increased uh, deficits with a large number of countries, uh, such as you know Mexico, Vietnam, uh, Taiwan, South Korea, Singapore.